hip-hop to me is taking kind of the African-American jazz idiom and making it, it more modern, sort of combining, um, I guess, rock, jazz, and poetry. Hip-hop, that would be basically street rhythm music. Hip-hop is, is something huge. It's, it's bigger than just its name. Hip-hop can be anything. It can be DJing, it can be graffiti, it can be the culture, it can be dancing. It can be um, a social gathering for people from the urban community and creating. Hip hop is is really creative because people create new dances and new things to do without having money. So that is hip hop. My impression of hip hop is it's kind of a culture, not even the kind of music, because you sort of combine the the urban life with kind of the like real cool rhythmic beats with like all kinds of syncopations, all different sort of rhythmic stuff. And that's, so it's more of a culture than even the kind of music. Seems to be, uh, it can be a lot of fun, but it can also have at times some uh, less than culturally positive influences, but it seems to be pretty good for most of the folks who are involved. I think it has a positive and negative effect. I think it all depends on what different artists are trying to kind of preach. I think hip-hop has kind of taken on a negative connotation lately because um, it's seen now as more a vehicle to promote drinking, sex, and violence versus kind of the uprisal of, of I guess, the African-American culture in society. Um, everybody that wear baggy pants isn't going to rob you. Everyone that's wearing a hoodie isn't going to rob you. As far as speaking for myself and speaking for my people, um, you know, we don't always use foul language or curse words. I barely, I, I, I barely curse. If you hear me curse, you, I'm really upset. So, um, um, it's, it's a lot of things, but to a certain degree, it's understandable because of what they, what you see in the media, you know, what you see on TV. They never say a person is doing something great, you know, in the media. They always say the hood shots and this and that. So it's fine for people to think that, you know, it's not cool, but it's fine because that's all you see, you know. Uh, it would depend on who and, and what you're looking at in terms of the, the artists. Some of the artists are, have a very positive influence, some of them are pretty violent. Diverse is a place to where though you can meet people who actually live in their dreams and it kind of motivates you to push to the next level. You know, we have dancers that was photographers that pushed their career as far as photography to the next level because it is an art, just like graffiti. Um, people that's doing music pr production, people that's doing videography, like you know, you, we push to the next level, period, and we all need each other. So with this studio, we push each other to go to a higher level in life, not just dance, but in everything you do, whatever you do, it just you have to go full out. You know, you have to be open-minded, you have to have a fresh mind. Like, that's what it stands for, having an open mind to be fresh to new ideas. So that's what... I'd say that today hip hop has more of a profound effect on our society than any other kind of music because it's sort of what's popular now, it's what a lot of people are listening to, so it's hard for it not to have an impact with so many people listening to it. I think all music has an effect on our society in one way or another, and it can be positive or negative based upon the individuals involved. The thing about the hip hop world, the thing about the world period, um, this world is built on structure, you know. A lot of people are raised to go elementary, middle school, high school, college, to corporate world, get married, have kids, you know, green lawn, big house, work, 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 pass away, leave money for kids, and your kids do the same thing. Whereas though with hip hop, we're more, we're more creative, all right? Um, we follow our dreams and we follow our feelings, what, what moves us. And then some way, somehow, we are able to get paid for it. So, with hip hop, we're, we have more freedom, we have more self-expression. That's why we're able to create and we don't have to um, 
go to college and stuff. Some people do. A lot of people do. That's in hip hop. A lot of people are in college. Two changes in college. He graduated from the college, so he's actually really um, smart. He's a smart guy. But you know, um, as far as hip hop, we just had freedom, freedom of expression. And if you can't really live your life by showing what you love, then you're not doing anything right now. Your life is just what your parents want your life to be. Right? But it may not be true. You have to come and meet people from the hood and, and hear you know, their struggles and how they push and why you know, rappers are flashing money because they never had it. You know? um, why they have jewelry because they never had it. They never seen it, so they don't know what to do with their money. We, don't have, we didn't have schools to teach us to put money in a bank, um, teach us to invest. That's what we don't have in our schools. We just have play basketball, you know, and we don't even have music production right now, but, you know, they're taking the arts out of school, so, you know, it's a lot of different things, but I don't, you know, I don't get mad at people for thinking what they think. All I say is do more research and, and re don't research from the outside, research coming in, come inside.